26-year-old Muhammad Ali is a Birmingham Islamic graffiti artist. He fuses aerosol graffiti techniques with Islamic iconography and calligraphy. It's borrowing influences and styles from being born and bred in the West, at the same time drawing from spiritual and Islamic styles, so kind of bringing those two together. It's great that I can make a living from my artwork, at the same time I freely practice my religion without, without any compromises in my work. But five years ago, Mohammed wasn't taking Islam seriously. He was a university student enjoying everything that student life had to offer. My life was generally living life to the max. You know, I was totally immersed in the whole culture of hip-hop and drum and bass music and designer clothing and all that stuff that a lot of teenagers are into these days. But one tragic event made him question this lifestyle. I had a friend, uh, someone I was very close to, and he, uh, he died in a car accident when he was 21. That really kind of hit me and made me think that we don't, have, we're not, we don't know when we're going to die. No one knows when his time's going to come. Mohammed turned his back on club culture and rethought his life. I thought I was happy, but I wasn't happy. And today, I have found my faith. It's still a constant battle, for sure. But I thank God that I'm what I am today, as opposed to what I was. When I'm reading the Quran, I see certain words which really inspire me, like sabr, the word patience, and I'd want to put that into my work. This painting, I, I wrote the word salam, which really kind of epitomizes what Islam is. And salam means peace. And I wanted to kind of have it, you know, almost jumping off the canvas. I want my work to kind of serve some kind of purpose as well, rather than just hanging it up in a gallery and to be served, serve an educational purpose to benefit the whole community. Mohammed takes his art on the road and today he's teaching a workshop at a Birmingham school. I used to be a graffiti artist. I used to be, yeah? Just so you don't think I'm one of these guys who just goes around spraying on the walls because I don't do that no more. You understand, yeah? I, tr I try my best to, to show them that graffiti, tagging and the illegal activity. If it's not something I am part of, I don't aim to glorify and glamorize it. This is what I wanted to show you because I want you to understand you guys, yeah? He was caught tagging Outside was it? Where was he tagging? In the boys' toilets. Okay, I wanted you guys to see what you should be heading towards. Not on people's walls, not in the parks, places like this. You understand? If someone come and put tags on my wall, I won't be very happy. So the point is... When I speak to the children, I see myself, and I'm trying to give what I didn't have, basically. Give them a positive direction in life that maybe I can inspire them through my artwork and they can feel good about it and they feel something that they can connect with the whole street graffiti style you know but at the same time the religious aspect of it it's something that we could be happy and proud about it, rather than keep Islam in your pocket and be ashamed of it almost and I'll be honest maybe at one point in my life definitely I was like that you see but rather we should be be Muslims and be happy and proud to be Muslims What's that about? <laughs> Mohammed exhibits his work all over the country, but what are his paintings worth? How much do I sell them for? I'd rather not say. <laughs> um, I made, uh, let me think. Uh, how much do I sell them for? A fair bit of money, I would say. <laughs> In fact, his art sells for between 800 and 1,000 pounds. <laughs> Mohammed has big plans to expand his art business. He's commissioned an animation company to make a TV commercial to advertise his work on Islamic TV channels. Ian's going to build that mosque mm. in 3D. Mm. We have McDonald's and Coca-Cola and PlayStation and all these multinational brands out there now. And I'm thinking something which has an Islamic flavor, a spiritual flavor, yeah. However, it's in the same league as these big brands in a sense. Say that again for us, please. Let's go back. But keeping the Islamic message pure can be a challenge in the commercial world. Stop that there. I'm thinking I'm not too comfortable with that. It's the, it's the, it's the word of, 
of the Quran itself. Mm. You see, I think the, the sound's been altered it's too just much. Going too yeah. far, yeah, yeah. too far. And I think w visually we can make this as funky as, as we like. Yeah, I, I but think when it comes right. to the audio, yeah. with the, the Quran, uh, we have to really limit it. This is a well-known mm -hmm. verse of the Quran. Bismillah, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the name of God. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a phrase that everybody knows. It's the beginning of every verse in the Quran. You would say. So it's Bismillah. important to yeah. keep that clear. <clears throat> That's right. Mohammed's ultimate ambition is to publicise his art to everyone in Britain and to establish a new and different image of Islam. Four, three, two, one. Welcome to Saturday Night Live, and I'm your host, Sergeant I want everybody to hear about this, you know, literally everybody. I want it to be a case of if somebody thinks of Islam, okay, yes, they might think of Osama bin Laden or some other things in a negative way. That it will be quickly followed up with, oh, there's this arts as well. So it almost cancels out the badness. That's my intention, so that it becomes something that everybody hears. And God willing, I, I hope I can achieve that.